Welcome back to the Survival Guide in Mathematics. I am Adam Jacobson. Today we will look at some examples of uh, different derivatives, or rather uh, how we could draw them in diagrams and how different derivatives, like if it is zero, if it is a positive constant, or if the derivative changes when we change x, etc. It is very important that you have a feeling for how these different types of derivatives are drawn in diagrams if you are going to work with this in, for example, intermediate microeconomics. The first example I would like to show you is a function with only a constant. And a very, very simple one is simply f of x equal 1. So 1 is here a constant. Uh, so we can see that f of x is in fact not a function of x at all. And here I have drawn it, so this is f of x here, the value of the function, and down here I have x. So and we can see that this function here, when x is equal to 0, 0, then the function's value is 1. And the same is true for any value of x, because x doesn't come into this. And then we come to the next question. What is then the derivative of this function? Well, we have learned before that the derivative of a function that doesn't contain x when we take the derivative with respect to x is zero. And the intuitive meaning of that is that since the derivative is how much up or down do we move when we move a tiny step to the right. And as we take one step to the right here, we take no step up or no step down. And continuing to the right here, we see that we are remaining on this very flat surface, as flat as Denmark then of course Denmark isn't quite flat, so that was not quite fair to Denmark. I love Denmark. Never mind, let's move on. Anyway, so when the function has the slope of zero, because the derivative of this is zero, then we can see it's completely flat. And moving on to a more, perhaps more interesting uh, function. This is a linear function, of course, this is also a linear function, but it's completely flat. This function here is linear as well, but it is not flat. And the one I have drawn here is f of x is 1 plus 2x, so there's a constant 1, and here we have 2 times x. So, for example, the value of this function at x equals 0 is going to be 1, hence that is why the intercept is here at 1. So then, now we can see that I've drawn this function here, so, it is, so for every step to the right we take two steps up, that's hence a 2 times x, one step to the right, two steps up, one to the right, two steps up, etc. And now you're starting to feel, you know, have a feeling of what the slope might be. So probably when we go one step to the right we go two steps up, so the slope should be plus 2, right? So let's check now and see if that is the case. So f prime of x then we take the derivative with respect to x of this function here, and we know that this is just a constant, and we know from before that, okay, the derivative of that is 0, plus, and then we have 2 times x to the power 1, and we know from the rules that we learned before, it's going to be the coefficient 2 times the 2 here, times the exponent for x, which is 1, times x, to the power of 1 minus 1. And so there's a 2 here, a 1 here, x to the power of 0, which is 1, so it's 2 times 1 times 1, that is 2. So we see that the slope is indeed 2, and we can also note that it will be a constant slope, because the slope, i.e. the derivative, is constant. It's at 2, so what is the slope here? f prime when x equals 1, well, it's going to be 2. What is the slope here? f prime when x equals 2, it's going to be, yes, surprise, 2 again. So that is the takeaway here, that the linear function, which is a straight line, has a constant slope may sound simple, but sometimes I've noticed that students tend to forget this. When under stress doing an exam question. So, moving on to another uh, example of an equation, and this, uh, or rather a um, function, and this is a convex function. 
excuse my poor drawing skills, but this you can see that the slope keeps on increasing all the time. And this uh, equation, uh, sorry, function I've drawn here is x to the power of 2. So x, the function's value when x is 0 is 0. And when it's 1, it's going to be 1 times 1. So then we are here, right? A 1. And if x is 2, then the function's value is 4. 2 by 2 is 4. Here and so on and so on. Now we can note that the slope doesn't seem to be constant along this function's line here, right? It seems to be increasing. So, hmm, uh, it should be positive because it goes up and up and up. Uh, so what is it? Well, we can quickly compute this by taking the derivative of this function with respect to x. So how much does the value of the function change when we change the value of x a very small bit? Well, it's going to be 2 x because this is a derivative and remember the definition of a derivative is you remember the Newton quotient is how much up do we go when we increase the value of x just a little bit and it's going to be increasing in x so let's look at this so what is then the derivative of the value of the derivative of this function when we are evaluating it at x equal 1. So f prime when x equal 1. So we plug in a 1 here, so the slope is going to be 2. Now we can continue and see what is then the value of the derivative, i.e. the slope, at the point where x is equal to 2 here. Well, f prime when x is equal to 2 then so we plug in a 2 here, so it's 2 by 2, that's 4. And finally, what about here, if we evaluate the derivative at the point uh, when x is 3? f prime when x is equal to 3 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6. So this is very important to note that when we have a a function like this, we can see that it's not a straight line, then we know that the slope of this function will differ between different points. So it does matter at which point we evaluate the derivative. Here it's plus 2, here it's plus 4, and over here it's plus 6. So remember that, and I'll see you next time. Bye -bye. <laughs>